Charleroi, Belgium, a city whose industrial prowess at one point helped the country become the second largest economic power in the world. The extensive coal and steel industry here once brought great wealth to the region, but all that's left of it now are mountains of industrial waste and derelict buildings waiting to be scrapped. The site we hope to see today is one of the largest in the city, a steel-making complex of over 400 acres. It operated for over a century before running into trouble in the early 2000s. The facility had become outdated and its inland location put it at a disadvantage compared to steel mills built near seaports. Finally, after the global recession of 2008, it shut down for good. Now, join us as we explore the site and discover what's left. If you enjoy coffee, you need to check out the sponsor of today's video, Trade Coffee. Trade is an online service that helps match you with the flavor profile you enjoy from over 50 partner roasters and over 400 coffees. Without Trade, I would just pick a coffee at the supermarket and hope I liked it, but Trade's flavor profile quiz does a great job at figuring out what exactly you like and matching you with the right coffee. All their coffee is roasted to order, so it's always fresh. I like to make my coffee using a pour over and the flavor is fantastic. It's possible to make an amazing cup of coffee every time with Trade. This is the best deal you can get for coffee of this quality and Trade is giving the first 100 people who click the link in the description 50% off your first coffee. Click the link in the description and use the code PROPERPEOPLE. That's P-R-O-P-E-R-P-E-O-P-L-E. At one point, this entire complex was abandoned and it was open season for urban explorers like us. Today, however, demolition is well underway on most of the site. Therefore, our exploration will be limited to a few different buildings in one corner of the property, which have so far been spared. Suspiciously easy. Yeah. Looks like demolition has been going on for quite a bit. There's piles of metal everywhere. Guess we'll go for this building first. This is an old looking stairwell. A lot of disassembled machinery. These pigeons are flying all over the place. We got the machine shop back here. Got a lot of files left in here. I won't be able to read any of them though, because they're all in French. He's confused. <laughs> He just flew into the glass. Oh my god. No. He wants out of here. <laughs> oh no. He's trying to get out so desperately. He's gonna fucking die. It could fly in the glass He's like that. He's like, all right, I give up. These guys are not gonna hurt me.
This building we're entering now was the coal injection plant. It was added to the site in the 90s as a means of improving efficiency. Its job was to pulverize coal into a fine dust, which would then be mixed with hot air and used in the blast furnace. Yeah, this is a pretty easy entry. It looks pretty cool in here. What the hell is all that green stuff? We've seen stuff like this in other factories. Just a deluge of green, powdery stuff. Well, uh, someone exploded a paint can. Is it paint though? It's probably spray paint someone exploded. We saw something like this in Chattanooga though, in another factory there. I don't know then. The green. Yeah, it looks like it came out of that sack. Looks like some grinder, maybe? Wow. Here's a way up. Industrial staircases are always a little bit freaky because you can see all the way down through them. Big elevator behind you. Probably needs the car to unlock it. We decided to take a quick look inside the water tower, and what we found turned out to be way cooler than expected. Okay, there's stairs up it. That is pretty cool. There's a really cool echo in here too. The light coming through the steps looks really cool. Plowing through spider webs. I feel like I'm in some dystopian sci fi movie right now. I think this is as high as I'm going to go. I don't feel like climbing that ladder, probably like covering vision shit. We've got company. If you're wondering what's going on with all the honking, Belgium had just won one of their 2018 World Cup games. There's some hooliganism going on over there. <laughs> Yeah, it's been like at least 30 minutes since they won. This will probably continue for another, yeah, for the rest of the night probably. The next area we're checking out is the coking plant. Here, raw coal was turned into coke, a vital fuel for smelting iron ore in a blast furnace. This part of the facility was one of the first to shut down, and therefore it's in a more advanced state of decay. Yeah, this place is like straight up a huge hazard. I'm surprised they haven't demolished it yet. 
Looks like it collapsed at any moment. They ripped out the conveyor belt pathway, but the belt is still hanging there. That would be a very sketchy catwalk to walk across. The floor is completely missing in parts. I think I saw some cool looking machinery up here. Could be anything. What if it's the security guard? We didn't get seen by anyone. No. As far as I know. See, that's the best building over there. We have to try to get to that one. The next building we're heading into is one of the power plants, which was fueled in part by gas byproducts from the coking plant next door. That's easy enough. It's dark. Wow. Too many industrial locations. Just got in and we already have a sketchy stairwell. This is cool. Holy crap. You gotta come up here, Brian. Wow, this is big. It's really pretty how the orange rust and the green vegetation complement each other. Okay, let's head down and try to find our way into the other building. Right now we're in the boiler section of the power plant and we hope to find a way into the turbine hall. Right there. That's how we get in. Yep. Okay, this is cool in here. There's turbines. Mm -hmm. This looks like it could get a little nasty. Hopefully no alarms in this building. Holy crap, this is cool. This is super cool.
can see the control room in here. But it's locked. It looks like a pretty sick control room. If Brian and I were paying more attention, we might have noticed this oddly placed motion sensor and been able to avoid it. But in our excitement of finding the control room, we let our guard down. They wedged this in here on purpose. You can't move that? That's gotta move that somehow. Well, you can probably open the door now. This is a loud little door. Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Wow. There's a brick there. This is behind all the control units. The substation is in here. This was distribution. You usually don't see these built indoors. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, I suppose. Weird. The tile's really cool down here. At this point, we decided to head back to the turbine hall, but as soon as we turned around, there was a security guard standing right behind us. Okay, what the hell? So we got busted, again. We were just inside and some dude walks in with a flashlight aimed at us, nothing really else. And he just- Can't speak any English, but he was very not happy. No, he told- we were there. He just escorted us out and told us if we were ever mm -hmm. back on that property, the police would be called and we'd be arrested. Presumably that's what he told us. That's what he we said. That's, that's what, what it what sounded said. like in French. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're never going back there. When he first discovered us though, he was, uh, he tried to make us delete all of our footage and yeah what i did was i went to the format screen and said everything will be deleted and then instead of hitting enter i hit cancel and he was just like okay good and then i don't know what brian just deleted like his last clip. yeah he was looking right <laughs> over my shoulder so i just quickly deleted the last clip and shut the camera off yeah today demolition and cleanup continues on the site However, the heart of the steel mill, Blast Furnace 4, was recently selected for historic preservation. If the project goes well, the people of Charleroi will have a great monument to their industrial past as they look into the future. Trade Coffee, today's sponsor, is giving the first 100 people who click the link in the description 50% off your first coffee. Click the link in the description below and use the code PROPERPEOPLE.